Welcome to the break. Let's see what's been going on in the world of MMA. Bellator made the move to Dazzin, Dazzin, Daz, Daz, you know the streaming service, the one in all caps, that one. Good fight card for it too. You know, Gegard Mousasi went out there, put a beating on Roy McDonald. Aaron Pico did his thing. Rampage Jackson evened the score against Vanderlei Silva in the longest running and at this point least necessary rivalry in all of MMA. And the fans in the UK, you know, they were excited because this was their first chance to see Bellator live without waiting for a week-long tape delay. They stayed up to the wee hours of the morning just to get preempted right before the main event. I'm Peppa Pig. By Peppa Pig. Which, and that's cruel. But you know what? Could have been worse. Could have been Caillou. Think about that. That's me! Other big news for Bellator is that 50 Cent reached some kind of deal to sell them a catchphrase. <laughs> Get the strap. And promote his luxury champagne brand. Nice. And as part of this deal, he is going to reinvest $1 million of his own money, give it to the winner of that welterweight grand prix. That's very nice. He's also going to give it to them, we're told, in cash. Which, why cash? Is really what I'm wondering. As if, you know, Douglas Lima's bank isn't going to be suspicious enough when he walks in to make a million dollar deposit. Now, he has to walk in there with a suitcase full of champagne soaked bills and be like no, no no it's fine i got this totally legitimately the rapper 50 cent gave it to me yeah no need to rush off and immediately alert all kinds of authorities you guys seen the stuff that daniel cormier and john jones are posting to each other on instagram though just like is there a way to make them block each other because i'm all for like social media trash talk but at a certain point it's just unhealthy for everyone you know what I am into though is Nate Diaz and Dustin Poirier using social media to create this weird aura of mystery around their fight. You know, I mean, will it be at a non-existent weight class? Will it be for a non-existent belt? Will it happen at all? It's a cliffhanger. I like it. They created this thing all by themselves. And they did it just with the power of their thumbs. Respect. Hey, there was also a Ryzen event this weekend. How about that? And you know what? Bob Sapp went out there, actually got himself a win, which to me, inspiring. So it goes to show that no matter how bad you are at something and how uninterested you are in being good at it, you stick around long enough, you'll find someone even worse than you are.